How to collect a quality sample using Calyx extraction device. However you collect your stool sample, remember the catching device must be clean. Don't let the stool sample come into contact with the toilet water as the disinfectants will influence the test. And don't get urine in the sample as this will dilute the elastase that is present in the sample. The Calyx device provided is the same as is used in the laboratory for extraction, so some of the examples in this video are recorded in the lab. The principle remains the same wherever the process takes place. Once you've collected your stool sample, you need to transfer a portion into the Calyx using the picker. When the stool sample is available, the pin of the Calyx sampling device is removed and dipped into the stool sample a few times so that the grooves on the end are covered in stool before replacing back into the Calyx tube. It is important that any food grains or fibers present in the sample are not transferred into the Calyx. By performing a small twist when removing the pin from the stool, any excess should be removed. The grooves of the sampling pin needs to be covered in the stool sample. Any excess is then retained by the funnel in the neck of the calyx, so that a defined amount is used in the analysis. Sample types can vary, including liquid, mucoid, blood-stained, and hard. Let's take a look at how to deal with various sample types in the best way for test result accuracy. Liquid samples. Avoid using a liquid or watery stool sample as it can influence the results. If possible, wait until a more formed sample can be collected. However, if only a liquid sample can be produced, just make sure to indicate that it's liquid on the label. This helps the lab or clinician interpret the result more accurately. Mucoid. Try to avoid areas containing mucus. If there is mucus in your sample, then avoid this when loading the calyx, if possible. blood stained. If there is blood present in your sample then avoid it if possible, but it won't unduly affect the result. Hard. Some samples are very hard, and you may struggle to fill the grooves on the calyx with the stool sample. In this scenario, use gloves and scrape the calyx pin across the surface of the sample until the grooves are completely filled. Once you've completed the collection process, ensure that the calyx cap is firmly replaced and it's clearly labeled with your name, date of birth, NHS number, the date you collected the sample, and whether your sample was liquid. Please return to your GP or laboratory as soon as possible for analysis. For further information, please visit our dedicated page on our website, www.calprotectin.co uk forward slash elastase